For pity's sake, man, that was Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers. Roadrunner, that was. You're listening to Russell Brand's Six Music. I'm here with Matt Morgan. He ain't in charge of the band, so I'm beginning to wonder what the point of him is. You alright, Matt? Mm, yes. What are you doing with the. I see someone else is operating your buttons. Oh, it's all weird up here, isn't it? We're in Scotland. Trevor Cocky Locky's here. Hello. You alright, Trev? I'm alright, but it feels all different up here. It's very unusual, this country, isn't it? Trevor, I. I hope that you're going to wait for more than a couple of minutes before attacking our brothers across the border in Scotland, particularly as we're in Scotland, and I, I like it in Scotland. I like it. I'm not saying it's different in a you bad way. You are saying it's I'm different. I'm saying it's different. It's very different, but I like the difference. You I like hate it. England. <gasps> Trevor, I love you so in England. I love England. We're from England. I like England. What's wrong with you today? No, no, this got... room's different, obviously. This room is studio's very different. different. All rooms are different from one another. Have no, you they're ever... not. Like, so... like, yes, they are, because think about it, right? Say you go uh, like a journey you do every day, like, your journey to work, it's always a bit different, isn't it? If it happened exactly the same way, yeah, that would be weird. That would be uncanny. Yeah. That would be unusual. Mm. That would be like if on the way to work you saw a person that looked exactly like you and then he gestured towards your office building and went, Don't go in there! That would be unusual. Does that happen to you? Yeah, it did happen this morning, actually. There's apparently a clone of you who works in a shoe shop in Camden. Really? Someone sent me a message about it. Well, I'm glad he's doing so well for himself. <laughs> if you want some shoes and you're in the Camden area and you fancy buying them from someone who looks... Uh, a clone or just a bit like me? A bit like I, I don't think, think it's I a think clone he wants to look like you and he's dressed up as you. It's nice of you that he wants to look like me. I just wish he'd gone through the stages where I was all fat and homeless <laughs> and I as well. Maybe you did. Yeah, perhaps he was. Perhaps he was always there, silently, experiencing the things I experienced. So, um, right, yeah, Six Music, you can join in with this programme if you want. We're up at the Edinburgh Festival now, because me, Trev and Matt are doing our sitcom for Radio 2 up here. We're practising it. Also, I'm doing stand-up up here. Trev's doing stand-up this very afternoon, isn't Trev? I am at four o'clock in the wine bar at the Gilded Balloon. Four o'clock in the wine bar at the Gilded Balloon. So if <laughs> anyone in the Edinburgh area wanted to have a look at Trevor Clock at around four o'clock in a wine bar at the Gilded Trevor Balloon... Trevor Clock? That's my new name, that's my stage name. It's called him Trevor Clock. You know, all right, it's quite I, good, actually. I made a mistake, but, you know, I'm not prepared to go backwards on this one, I've guys. I've changed my well, name. Trevor Clock. Mistake. Talking that's of mistakes, mean. before we came in here, Trevor said we were at the Edinburgh Fridge Festival. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the Edinburgh for a fridge to grow. We're at an Edinburgh refrigerator. Like he said, like, we go, we're trying to think of topics for the show, we still haven't. I think we should talk about... S E X. Yeah, that's well, right. That's guys. a surprise. The old S E X. Mate, we could be talking about Tibetan monks and you'd still bring S E X. Them into Tibetan it. monks have got a lot of dirty secrets up there, Cassock, so I wouldn't mind warranting. Yeah, Them it. shiny heads oh, of theirs could be used as body buffers. No, you can't say that. I'm not attacking Tibetan monks and I think that bloody China they should withdraw. There. <laughs> so I, must, I must never make uh, these sort of remarks because I'll, often I've just left leaning. Right, I'm just left leaning, so I just. You're left leaning. I lean to the left on politics, right? Yeah, so but so it, yeah, political but comes up. I'll just go right this way. Oh, I keep banging against my microphone. It's because I'm left leaning. The, the microphone is to the left of me. I keep leaning against it. So I will have just impulsive, ill-researched political views. And I'd like, if you are a listener of this show, just to say, well, that's just a, he's a young man. He's finding his way in the world. He doesn't know that much about China's occupation of Tibet, but intuitively feel that probably Tibet should not have another country. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's the Sheikh of Ara syndrome. Uh, no, I'll tell you why he does it. Because mm. he thinks it makes him look sexually attractive. No, oh, I don't! You do. You hold, what I think you makes hold... me look sexually attractive is my physical appearance and bad movement. These things make me sexy. That is not going to attract anyone, that dance. Well, that There's dance. only used to it. If there were more people here, people that had genitals, <laughs> let me tell you, they'll be releasing spores now out of their glands. He always says spores and genitals. There always. is nothing wrong with either spores or Jenny's Matt Morgan. He stands there, all tensed up like break. a little kid having a tantrum. He's got some sort of, you know, sort of neuronic connection between spores and I'm not saying, listen, shut up. I've not seen you guys for a week and I've missed you. Matt, where have you been? Cornwall. Why? Because it, it's nice. You've been there because it's nice. You went down to Cornwall, didn't you? You yes. little div. Did you have a nice time yeah, down there? Yeah, it's brilliant down there. Matt, well, your cultural, what's your cultural review going to be today? It's going to be on a little thing I like to call Cornwall. <laughs> Culturally reviewing an area. You can't culturally review an area. Right, Listen, man. It's well, there's so much to do in Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> what was one Just of the things you did? You're working for the Cornish oh, Went board. down a slate mine. You went down a slate mine. <laughs> yes. Don't get, don't get into it now. You'll spoil the are cultural you, review. Uh, yes. You know how he does. Yeah. Sometimes well, Matt won't even reveal the contents of the cultural review because he thinks people are sat at home on ten or something. Well, they are what now. What will the cultural review be about? Is now they know a there's a slate mine, mine involved. I mean, you that one. The whole of Cornwall's just lit up. Of course it has. They probably torch themselves rather than be associated <laughs> with you. But let's, let's burn. Let's, somehow this place feels dirty now. No, they don't want independence. No. They just want their own demise now. Right. So I think. Yeah. Come on. 
Is that, Trevor, do you not want to talk about sex because you can't well, think of a single sexual well, anecdote? Why can't we talk about <laughs> dinners we've had? Why do you want to talk about dinners you've had? Why do you not want to talk about dinners yes. we've had? Because I can't remember any dinners I've had. And That's why can't you? because all your dinners are stupid vegetarian bump. <laughs> because, because when you lot are having your dinners, I'm having sex. That's why. <laughs> because it's more entertaining. If someone gives me some sausage and mash, I make a bra out of the mash and I feed those sausages yes, into yes, every orifice. Go to the band, go to the track. I'm not going to ban nothing. I've right, what we're doing, what we're talking, come on, let's talk Dinner's, right. dinners, we're Alright, talk about dinner, right, alright, we'll have a dual thing. If you want to talk about sexual experiences, the first time you had sex, the last time you had sex, the best time you had sex, the worst time you had sex, text us on 64046, or if you want to talk about dinners you've had, text <laughs> us on 6, diddly I chai, diddly I chai chai. No, text us on 64046 for that as well. Then, you, we just let people decide. This show, Trevor Locke, yes. belongs to the listeners oh, of Six it. Music. It's not about our egos, oh. yeah? I don't know, perhaps you don't understand that, Trevor. I don't know. Perhaps when you're doing your show at the Gilded Balloon at four o'clock in the wine bar, yeah. that is about your ego, <laughs> and that is why it'll be an utter sham, <laughs> I predict. And that's the only reason I'm going there, along with my associate Matt Morgan, to watch you flounder. I'm going to sit in the front row, nude! Oh, nude! You? Yeah, that's right, Put nude! Put some clothes on. I will not wear I'll a stitch. I will not allow you into my auditorium if you're naked. I'll wear the clothes for the way in, Trev. Oh. By all means, I'll wear them on the way in, oh, mate. Right. When are you going to take them off, then? The moment you start your trite <laughs> derivative show, I will undress Trevor as the only way of entertaining myself wow. in a difficult and stressful time. Thank you very much. You're coming, aren't you, Matt? Well, not now, I've heard you're going to be naked. Oh, I'd butcher you. I've seen, seen that once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, if only it was only once, dear, oh, dear. Some of the that leave that hanging out there. Hey, baby, I have left it hanging out there. <laughs> That's half the problem. And it does hang to the left. <laughs> it hangs all sorts of ways. Uh, me and Matt are interested in Satanism now, and we're thinking oh. about becoming Satanists. Yep. But that's another thing we've not researched very well, so if you've been <laughs> negatively affected by Satanism, sorry in advance. And if you've been positively affected by it, I mean, six, I'll be four, interested. 6406. Exactly. 64046. That's the stuff, Matt, yeah! I'm doing that sign of the devil now, I want you people to know it. So, um, yeah, also, someone's done a kiss and tell on old Russ today in, uh, The People. It was quite- it's from a woman I had it off with about, like, nine years ago. Doing the kiss and tell on me. Blimey. Um, oh. Let me tell you, the years have not been kind. T yeah. Time's taken its toll. Old <laughs> Father Time has trud trudged across her boat race. Um, but like, you know, hey, she said negative things about me. So, um, okay, let's, let's have a little bit of music. I think we're gonna listen to a Tricky doing that. I got a letter from the government the other day. I got a letter from the government the other day. <laughs> Opened it, <laughs> my, read it. I said my STD results were baffling them. <laughs> no, they're oh. fine. Oh, Christ. So, we, uh, you're, yeah. that's your job now, is it, Matt? Pressing that <laughs> one green button. <laughs> yeah. Look at Matt Morgan, is now perched, <laughs> like, hovering over it. one I'll tap button. It five times and then I'll actually press it. You get five little tappity taps little and taps. then, and then it go, yeah, and you go for the press. Don't mock my buttons, mate. I am mocking your buttons. You don't look, look at, like don't you. Don't know even look over here. I'm, I'm ashamed of this. <laughs> you this little be. rack. He normally, when we're down in London at Six Music Studios, he offers above this uh, smorgasbord of technological delights. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like an aeroplane. It's like an aeroplane cockle pit. And now, yeah, look at this. See, uh, it's, it's like the. Uh, it's Fisher Price sort yeah, of thing. But it's because we're not in the main studio, it's because probably there's a, a more important radio show going on, I'd imagine. That we're not attacking people Hello, in Scotland. Hello, there's a tantrum starting. There's not a tantrum. Not a tantrum. We've had about four tantrums what from Russell today. How are they tantrums? Let's go, let's run through Should these. Should we run through, through them then? Let's run through Let's run through the first tantrum of the day. First tantrum of the day was, uh, all right, we're. I want the papers. I've got to have all the papers there. So that's not tantrum. We no, no, no. This is the no. beginning of the tantrum. How's that a tantrum? No, so so there was loads of things. Why have you been involved, included in the tantrum? Because you will see in a minute. Now listen. <laughs> that slowed us down. And then we, uh, someone phoned you and said, "Oh, we're we're on our way there." Well, I'm on my, I'm there now. I'm going back home. You went <laughs> home. You got went to the back studio because no one was there. If no one was there, I'm going back home. And there was people here. Saying that Michael Winard voice. I'm going back home. Right, okay. How did you say? It? How did you say it? I said, oh, I'll probably pop off home then now. No, you didn't. You hadn't even left it. You were still in your hotel, exhausted, whilst the pair of you spent all night wrestling like <laughs> D.H. Lawrence's <laughs> women in love, probably. Stood by a fireplace, gripping each other by the undercarriage. That's just silly. But this is not a story about wrestling. me having t tantrums. This is a story about you two being late to the studio. I came we... here on time. I can't do nothing without you, you two here. Come in you can come in here. You can I prepare. get nervous if I don't see people that I know. <laughs> Stranger danger! <laughs> walk away! Stranger danger! Don't touch me! Stranger danger! Back to bed! Oh dear. You're not my uncle! You're not my uncle! I wish you had a button to stop all Bams, this. You've got a button. I've got that one. That was on. We'll Hang on, so that's tension one. Right, that's we'll tension let you one off that has tension. already been dismissed as 
unprofessionalism of cog leagues one. Yeah, cog, cog leagues. leagues. Cog leagues. Yeah, that's what you're. He's Trevor Cock, and you, a pair of you, are cog leagues. <laughs> you're a league of Dutch footwear. Okay, should we so listen to the music? What's Tantrum 2? Tantrum 2 is probably the uh, music you didn't like. Oh, the music. Didn't put my music you in the like, playlist. You like loads of these records. Some of these bands you introduced. <laughs> Some of these bands you introduced me to, and just because you didn't pick them first on this Sunday, <gasps> suddenly it's not your songs anymore, is it? I'm saying I, I, I picked, I, I picked songs. music and they're not in the thing. I didn't, frankly, here. when the mic, when you turn the mics on, I won't do the show. <laughs> I did not say when you turn. At this time, I'm a, a posh general sort of character. <laughs> <laughs> I wait when the mics come on. I will simply look out the window and muse about by the heads on the wall. I said it'd be good well, if the tracks I selected were in the we show. We said oh, we had to burn the songs and bring them up from London. Just, well, we're... I've simply left the presenting of the show in London. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, all that, listen, what you're actually exposing is that I love this show. I care about this show. You two are late. The person that's in charge of putting the tracks together, I believe he's called John, has not put the <laughs> tracks together. You know, so essentially what I'm exposing is that Six Music is badly run. That's, a, that's all that I mean. I love the radio show. It's very good. I will endeavour to do my best here. But for heaven's sakes, I can't carry everything. I've got a lot of pressure on it's me. It's heartbreaking. Trevor, turn your phone off, Trev! <laughs> what's wrong with you? Why, do you what's, why don't you understand the basic tenets of radio? Mate, I'm a maverick. I'm my own man. You are a maverick. That's you my are own your phone. own man. That's my own phone. No, Trevor, let it go on. just put your clothes on, dear, and let's get on with the radio show. So we'll be either talking about sex or dinners. You decide to borrow a catchphrase. <laughs> Matt, you are right, mate? Yes. Looking sir. forward to your cultural review? Uh, yes. Why do you swallow sick, then, before you'd have it? <laughs> you looking forward to going through Ooh, yes! <laughs> It'll be nice. Trevor, stop fiddling with your phone. What's wrong with you? You. What's the matter? Well, it's like having Metal Mickey I'm... in the studio making toast, you bungling <laughs> twerp. I like pressing the buttons. Do the sonic. <laughs> oh, you're a lovely lad. That's because Trevor always wanted to be in charge of the buttons when we were deciding how to make this I radio did. show. And I thought he I did was in charge of them once and it was good. It was, it was a shambles. It wasn't, no, it wasn't. Was he was good at the buttons. Do you remember that time when he put music on during the news? In that wasn't him. Yeah. Oh, it was him, wasn't it? Was it was Trevor, yeah. Trevor just put music on during the news. And he was laughing. He was laughing, right? There'd been some tragedy or massacre Mate, across our lovely planet. You need cheering up sometimes. Trevor, you being a maverick does not entitle. Here's a list of things that being a maverick does not entitle you to do. One, put music on in the news. Two, use children to experiment on in a variety of ways. That is the end of my list of things that being a maverick does not entitle you to do. So we'll be talking about either sex or dinners. Uh, it's dependent on you. L I'll tell you why. You know, I don't want to go on about as your father all the time. Look at this thing in the. In the people today, then, chaps. I've not read it yet, so, you know, it might be embarrassing. Are you sure you don't want to go on about how's your father all the time? <laughs> no, I don't no. want to go on about it. I've got some papers here. <laughs> is, is that why you wanted... Did you know you were in them? Is that why you said you needed the papers? We always have the papers, don't we? But who, does someone phone you in the mornings and go, Ross, you're in the people? <laughs> no, 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 I don't get phoned <laughs> up by Ted Maul from Brass Eye <laughs> and told that I'm in the people. Uh, right, here's this thing. This is about a girl I had it all for you eight or nine years ago. Mamma Mia, but Russell could not satisfy Elkie. TV so Russell... nothing's changed in nine years? Oh, you're hilarious, aren't you? Uh, here am I, one of the great sex people <laughs> <laughs> of Great Britain, and you had the gall to sit there drunk and insult me. You're drunk, Matthew. I'm sober. Oddball, oh no, outrageous Big Brother host Russell Brand dumped a stunning Spanish girl halfway through a date so he could bed an ABBA tribute star. I don't remember that bit of it. Maybe because you were having dinner with her at the time. Dinners! It is a hot topic. People like having dinners, Trev, I've always said this. Dinners or sex, it's up to you, 64046. The self-styled love god. I'm not a self-styled love god. You've got a stylist, it. so... Is, yeah. <laughs> well, that style is lacquered on by team funkies. <laughs> no, uh, like, you know, like, what it, like, I've not styled myself as a love god. I've not ever gone out and gone, I'd like to be regarded as a love god, if I may. Have I? It's ridiculous, isn't it? No, it's ridiculous. No, Who are the other crap. love gods? Uh, not like Charlton Aphrodite and stuff. And, stuff. and Venus. Uh, the self-styled love god was out in the town with a busty brunette when he spotted his old stage school crush, Elkie Hayward, Elkie Hayward. Elkie Hayward is the person that this, uh, sex story is about. Brown was so desperate to get the freedom in personality, uh, Elkie into bed that he dumped his stunning date on the spot and got his mates to escort the tearful girl from the pub. I don't remember that happy 